Counter-Strike 2 is officially one year old. And because Valve doesn't celebrate with actual content, here is a method to bypass the horrible update of the 20th of August, 2024, which implemented the new setting CL Allow Multi Input 0 as default. It removed the ability to bind multiple of these actions to a single key, which removed jump throw binds and d subject movement, basically breaking bunny hopping and many other important binds like long jump and jump up binds. All of these were solutions to consistency issues the game has and Valve removed them without fixing the actual problems first. But the binds are all back with a simple method discovered by Lighty. Check out his video in the description where he explains it well. First, we create a new config file containing all the commands we want to bind to a key. Then, within our autoexec, we create an alias which calls this newly created config in a special way. Let's call it the echo pipe exec method. Then we bind this alias to the desired key and it will work on any public servers. I recreated many of the old binds within my CSA fab config package. All you have to do is customize the key binds to your liking and disable any unwanted features by placing double slashes at the start of the line. Watch my last video for a detailed explanation on how to use or install the package and on what servers this is allowed. Spoilers, pretty much on all of them. Since the initial release of my config package a week ago, I updated it to add the following features. Version 1.2 brought d subdic jump throw and w jump throw binds to work just like pre-patch. They will hit pixel perfect smokes every single time and are miles better than the manual throws Valve wants us to use. We can't fix this jumping bug where you get stuck on the wall, and it seems like Valve doesn't know how to either, but the long jump bind, also known as crouch or duck jump, is also back and allows to reach higher places. The jump bug bind allows to jump further, more consistently. We also have a feature that instantly stops defusing as soon as you start to shoot while still holding the E key. It will start defusing automatically as soon as you stop shooting again. Version 1.3 brought support for the two maps Thera and Overpass. On Thera, we have three different instant smokes for CT side. A dropper smoke from all five possible CT spawns. These are walking jump throw. Then there is a powerful mid smoke where you don't lose your timing since it is a running middle click jump throw on, when your crosshair meets the left side of this break rate. At last we have a B main smoke which works similarly to the mid smoke. Run until your crosshair meets this part of the roof and do a running jump throw. All of these smokes will bloom before T's arrive. On overpass, we have cross map wall bangs, which you can try if you get a bad spawn with the AWV. Since the incendiary nerf, the standard mid lineup is not good enough anymore. You can go for this run boost incendiary, which lands very deep and it's easier than it looks. The bottom player can run backwards with this lineup and throw the playground molly afterwards. Version 1.4 brought additional wall bangs shared by Sneaky Beaky Man. I also brought back the ability to release middle click nades when pressing the reload key. We also have a key bind for default movement, in case you want to switch your auto strafe config off before climbing a ladder. The newest update to the config package added the ability to use the mouse wheel to scroll to additional radio wheels. For now, these are only used on Ancient, where I've added instant mid and B door smokes for CT side. You can find all instant mid smokes in a separate video in the top right corner, and here are all manual B door smoke lineups. Tell me in the comments which of your favorite binds got removed by the patch last month, and I will recreate them in a future version of the CSA Fab config package. Thanks for watching, and happy birthday to CS2.